Excellencies, we begin another year in the grips of global pandemic. COVID-19 continues to append lives, plans and hopes. The only certainty is more uncertainty. Meanwhile, inequalities are growing. Inflation is rising. We all know this. Now is not the time to simply list and lament challenges. Now is the time to act. All these challenges are at heart failures of global governance. They do not protect the critical global public goods that are intended to support humanity's well-being. From global economy and finance systems to the health of our planet. At the same time, the virus cannot be used as a cover to undermine human rights, shrink civic space and stifle press freedom. Governments have also imposed disproportionate restrictions that penalize developing countries. For example, what I described some time ago as travel apartheid. Last October, the WHO unveiled a strategy to vaccinate 40% of all people by the end of last year and 70% by the middle of this year. We are nowhere near these targets. We need all manufacturers and all companies to prioritize vaccine supply to COVAX and create the local condition for the tests, treatments in vaccines in so many countries able to do it around the world. This includes pharmaceutical companies more rapidly sharing licenses, know-how and technology. And we must fight the plague of vaccine misinformation. And we must do much more to ready our world with the next outbreak in line with the recommendations of the independent panel and by strengthening the authority of the WHO. Thank you.